You're about to watch a Trains Newswire video. If you enjoy what you see, consider watching some of our other full-length videos. Hotspots, Horseshoe Curve to Hatchapi, Chicago Racetrack, and more. Locomotive, the video companion to our best-selling special issue. And a special collection from documentary producer Rich Luckin. All these and more are available from our website, KalmbachHobbyStore.com. Good morning, Trains Nation. Today is Friday, December 14th, 2018, all day. Until midnight. Until midnight. Now, Jim, before we talk about anything else, I want to say happy birthday to you. Happy, wait a minute, happy birthday or happy anniversary? Happy anniversary. Yeah. This is good. Yes. Folks, if you've been watching us since the very beginning, it's been three years. Yes, we started Trains Newswire videos and then audio podcasts December 11th. 2015. It's wow. been three years. My goodness. Wow. How time flies. And if you go back, you can look and see how well Steve and I have aged. Because yes. I'm sure it has not been very well. Time tells all time tales. Time tells all tales. Yes, it does. But, but uh, uh, anyway, yeah. thank you for being with us for all three years if you have been. And if you're just joining us, we have a lot of news to talk about, including headless locomotives. Headless locomotives, big boys. Yep. Engines moving out of parks, special painted locomotives for George Bush on the move. You name it, we got it. It's all here in the next 60 seconds, give or take. That's right. Yeah. Well, let's talk about the headless locomotive because you're yeah. on top of that. Headless locomotive uh, last night in Indiana, uh, trucking accident. One of the Indiana Transportation Museum locomotives, a really cute little SW1, the very first uh, locomotive for Monon, being moved from Noblesville. Uh, Indiana to their new location in Logansport, mm -hmm. hit a bridge, took off the yeah. cab, sheared it off. Yeah. From what we can tell, doesn't look like the electrical system or the controls were badly damaged, although they must have been damaged to some degree. Yeah. But anyway, um, Newswire report on that this morning. We're trying to get some more information about that move overall and, and a little bit more about the locomotive. Yeah, but there's a lot of metalwork damage that's going to have to be fixed. A lot of superstructure, yeah. and a friend of mine pointed out a few minutes ago, I didn't think about this, you know, SW1 cabs are full of glass. And mm. all that part 229, I think it is, uh, glass yeah. is going to have to be replaced, and that's not cheap stuff. No, it's not. You no, can't go not. to your local hardware store and get that. Don't, don't order it at Ace Hardware. Yeah, they, yeah, you won't get what you're bargaining for. Norfolk Southern. On the move. To Atlanta. Thoroughbred of transportation. Bucking right down from, yep, from Virginia all the way through my home state, North Carolina and South that's Carolina, right. all the way to Georgia. All those guys in Norfolk now got to learn about all those streets in Atlanta named Peach something. <laughs> so, and sit in traffic. <laughs> Come on now, you've been to Atlanta. Yeah, you knew I've been that. To Atlanta. Yeah. You've been to that. There's know, 50, just... 50 roads named Peach something. Uh, and they've got to deal with I-285 traffic. That's right. And, um, yes, I'm a grizzled old Atlanta veteran. But, I mean, it, it yeah. makes sense. The operational headquarters right. for NS has always been there. That was the old Southern's operational mm -hmm. headquarters, even when their headquarters was in Washington, D.C., and so, you know, the, the, the common theory is always have all your troops under one roof. So yeah, this is the sense. plan to do it. But, but if you're moving your official headquarters from Norfolk to Atlanta, should you now be called the Atlanta Southern? Well, yeah, we've, there's or been the, discussion about that. Yeah, so I, we'll I see. Know. I, I know, I know, it, it, it begs the question. It or maybe, the maybe they'll just have a whole name change. They'll say... I don't know. I mean, yeah, so but maybe it'll just be the Southern. Yeah. Well, or maybe the, I got maybe, no problem with that. So. Maybe it'll be the Thoroughbred. It thoroughbred be, Railroad. Could that do. could be good. I like be. that. Could thoroughbred. Be. Or as Ange calls it, pony, uh, Horsey Railroad. Yeah. The Horsey Railroad. Yeah. Um, ba, 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 576. Yep. Stripe. Yep. Nashville. Nashville. Big 484. Finally moving out of Centennial Park. You know, have as a Southern guy and a steam guy, mm -hmm. I don't, can't tell you how many times I've seen plans for this. For, for a restoration of this locomotive come and go over the last 20, 30 years. And finally, uh, it's happening January 13th. We will be there. Uh, we'll be doing some live streaming on Facebook and we'll bring back a video that, a uh, long playing video that we'll show on that Monday afterwards. But yeah, it is finally happening. Massive truck is gonna take the locomotive out of the park, gonna go about two miles down to a railhead on the Nashville and Western, which is a sister railroad to the Nashville and Eastern. Right. They'll set it down there. They'll do some more prep work, prep work to get it ready to go across town. And um, thus begins the restoration of another 
That's really big cool. steam locomotive. And, and for, for those of you who don't know, 576 is a Nashville, Chattanooga, and St. Louis locomotive. Mm -hmm. 484 last ran in 19... 1953. It's been a few years. Been in the park for 63 years. Eisenhower Crazy. was president when this locomotive last ran. Think about that. Unbelievable. Uh, 4014. Yep. This, this is basically all your news wire today. Got, got, um, got wheels. Got, it's got wheels. Front, 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 uh, front engine wheels. Yep, this is good. And uh, UPS for a waiver for not only the uh, 4014 for PTC, PTC waiver yep. for not only that engine, of course, the 844, but also 3985. Which and is that's the, really good news. That's good. It is. Because we've been, you know, we've been hearing from people, well, will 3985 ever run again? Right. That's, you know, the 2662. Yeah. And, uh, the four. Well, or 4662. Four, and, you know, it could. Yeah. So that's, that's so really one day down news. the road. Yeah. On Newswire. Um, the last thing I have, the last thing I have is the um, George H. W. Bush locomotive mm -hmm. will be appearing in Chicago this yep. weekend, that's which is kind of cool. cool. Yep. So um, details on Newswire, but yep. this Go check you know, it out. pretty painted locomotive, unique, rare, in all cases rare. There'll never be another one like this. Yep. Go uh, check it in out. Chicago. So check your switches and, and go visit this thing if you can. Yes. So, Jim, that's what I got. That's what I got, too. For everyone at Trains Newswire, we hope you have a fantastic weekend. Stay safe, guys. Take care.